What's up everyone, this is your boy Chris back with another Reptile video. In today's video, I'm actually going to go over the Enigma lines that everyone has been asking for. So before I begin, of course, the only thing that I ask in return for this video is you hit that ravish like button because that actually helps me provide and create good content for you guys. Also, if this video is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do share my contents every Monday and Thursday. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I go and share you guys my pros and cons for the Enema lines, I want to give you a brief history behind the Enema line project. The Enema was actually found in 2006 by one of the respected breeders whose name is Mark Bell. When you hear Bell, what can you think of? Yes, you're right, Bell Albino. I did cover Albino lines a week ago, so if you didn't watch my video last week, make sure you come visit our channel and click that video so that you can have a better understanding about the Albino lines. So here are a lot of examples that you can find on the Google, and one of the good examples that I could find was this one. Enema, they tend to boost up in and enhance the color for the Lerpe Gecko project, so when you look at the Lerpe Geckos, they tend to have a brighter colors on their skin. And especially tendron lines, when they do have a orange colors, and if you mix with the Enigma lines, it brights up the colors and give you a lot better color on its skin. Enigma lines also create a lack of pigments on their skin. So when you look at these Leopard Gecko, they don't really have a lot of dark pigment on their skin. And also, the main part of the Enigma lines is they're well known for the white, solid, color tails and also gray color tail as well this is one of them and the second one i can find was this one which was super super good and third one was this in one lines they could also have a, some kind of dark pigment but it's very unique when you compare it against the normal leopard angles. and the fourth one is this one when i did the research the one other cool thing that i found was that in my lines they tend to make your eye color more solid so when you're working on the eclipse line eclipse projects with the enema lines their eyes are going to look so much better with the solid red color or solid black colors so those are the pros for the enema lines and now i'm going to cover some of the cons for enema and also at the end i'm going to show you guys a couple of example videos so make sure you watch the video till the end uh, just to learn more about the Enigma projects and Enigma lines and what's going to actually happen when you work with this type of morph. Because he was doing overtime selective breeding, there was a lot of syndrome that you could find through these projects. And one of the issues that a lot of people found was that Enigma, they tend to shake their head a lot. And second one was they do walk circularly. And third one is they lose the balance. So when they walk, they really walk weirdly. And you can tell right away from the video, which I'm going to show you in a couple seconds. It looks very weird and it may be a little bit interesting to you guys. But for those people who actually had a lot of good Lerpe geckos, and when you compare to those, it doesn't really look good. So those are the cons for the Enigma lines. And now I'm going to show you the example video. This video, the Lerpe geckos walk circularly and also you can see that this, Ler this Lerpe gecko is losing balance while he or she is walking. Enigma lines tends to do this all the time except sleeping. So basically they're doing this all day long except sleeping. This is really a worst case that you can find but sometimes they do flip over. This is definitely not good. Lerpe gecko doesn't sleep like this like human. They if they flipped over like this, it's going to make them really hard to breathe and it could even kill them at the end. And in my lines, they do have a very high death toll rate. So make sure you keep on eyes on them a lot so that you don't see them dead in the next day. If they are flipped over, just flip over again and make sure their belly is always facing the floor. This is the one example and the another example that I found was that this Lerpe Gecko is on the side way. You can also tell this Enigma is losing balance and doing very awkward motions at the same time. You probably couldn't find any Lerpe Geckos that sleep on the side way like humans. 
Leopard Gecko doesn't do that a lot. And this is one of the rarest case. That's second example and third one. So this Korean breeder, he actually showed three of Enema lines that he has. Not all Enema lines are going to be like that. Some Enema lines will be perfectly normal. But there are a lot of issues with Enema lines, which this video will show you guys soon. This one is very normal. They do recognize food. They do eat very well. And the second one right here, this is also part of Enema. And when you look at them, they don't recognize the food. So the better way you could do is just put your food closer and use cricket or dubia that is bigger so that they could recognize the food better than mealworms. You can also use a superworm, something that is bigger so that they can recognize. So right now, what you just saw is they're shaking their head right now. They're losing balance again. They will eventually eat it if you put it closer to their face. Most likely you'll probably do a lot of pan feeding and as you can see, this one doesn't eat very well. They act very uh, weird when they are biting down the food. And the other one that you saw was that they don't have a lot of good accuracy when they're biting down the food. And also you will see they're losing balance again. So those are the couple examples that I could find on the YouTube. All the Enema lines are not going to be like this. But what you will be facing in the couple years when you're working on this project is that you will be finding a lot of leopard geckos that will act like this, will that, that would walk circularly or lose a lot of balance or be flipped over. So when you're working on this project and you find these hatchlings that are doing this, you will probably need to spend a lot of time on them because when you don't, not only they will starve to death, but also they will face a lot of different issues um, due to this weird syndrome. And also if they're flipped over, make sure you, their belly is always facing the floor. So you make sure you flip them over to the normal weights and you just have to keep on your eyes on them a lot of times compared to other leopard gecko. So here are a couple of examples that I could find on the online. And if you still want to work on it due to color and the pigment or all those sort of stuff, here's what I found online. For example, if we were to pair enema to non-enema, which you can consider as normal, you will be producing 50% enema. And if you're um, going to pair enema to enigma, you'll be producing 75% of enema and 25% of normal. What I also found was that if you're pairing enema to enema, they have a high chance of producing fertile eggs. Therefore, you'll be producing less hatchlings for your enema projects. Um, while you're looking into this enema lines on the online or from breeders at the expos in the near future when this all virus is all over, um, if you find anyone who label enema as a hat enema, that is definitely not possible. So make sure you look into the right breeder who actually knows what they're doing. And me personally, I would probably not work on it because I do see a lot of bad things from this project. So I will not work on this, but that's pretty much it for today. Um, thank you for watching my video until now. And if you have any other questions, you can feel free to write a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to create another video like this for you guys. Um, my next video will be posted on Thursday. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you want to watch more, subscribe. Yeah, that's it for today. So um, have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay.